Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and this is the 5-Minute Weekend Report. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets me know you're enjoying these videos. By no means do I claim to be a structural aerospace engineer, but it stands to reason. Why couldn't they incorporate a lightweight support structure in Starship? As seen here, they currently do have ribbed supports in the lower half of Starship. I'm thinking a simple aluminum structure, nothing major, just some extra support. This would help support both the body and the tanks of Starship. This could avoid what happened the last time. This could also give additional strength during takeoff, re-entry, and landing. As Elon said in this tweet, if you lose pressure control on the rocket propellant tanks, you're doomed anyway. So basically, Starship is not self-supporting, and that I have a problem with. I know there's a lot of other rockets in the past that weren't self-supporting, but this isn't just another rocket. This is Starship, and it has to fly many times over and over again without a lot of maintenance. I know I'm going to have a lot of people give me a hard time on this one, but hear me out. Now I know there's a lot more to it than just this. This is just simple numbers. But why couldn't you use just everyday aluminum I-beam material? If you look at this chart, 4x3 I-beam is 2.311 pounds per foot. So if you're talking about using this material from the very bottom, all the way up to where the nose cone starts, or 36 meters, which is approximately 118 feet. And for the ring sections, a 9 meter starship, each ring section is approximately 95 feet in circumference. Okay, so here's what we've got. We have four uprights at 118 feet each. We'll round that to 1,091 feet. And then the four ring sections at 95 feet each, that's 380 feet. So that gives us a total of 3,399, let's round that to 3,400 pounds, or approximately 1.54 metric tons. Add a little bit more for any cross members and some welding, you're probably going to get that to 2 metric tons. Okay, so... And a simple lightweight structure like this, you're talking just slightly less than two metric tons for the entire structure. Now, since Elon's talking 100 metric tons to Leo, you're only losing two metric tons. So you're talking 98. For safety purposes, I'd be willing to lose two tons. What about you? Now, I do understand there's a lot of other factors involved here. You've got dissimilar metal expansion and contraction between the aluminum and the stainless steel. This also could cause problems with the tanks. The main point that I'm making here is that I think a structure could be put in place to help support Starship rather than just go with the pressure method and hope for the best. And the other thing is that I'm just winging this and going off the top of my head. I didn't do any calculations on the actual materials other than what you saw. So you could probably use thinner materials than I used in this demonstration. So go ahead and beat me up on this one. That's perfectly fine. Because for me, it's like that old offspring song, self-esteem. It's okay because I like the abuse. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. It's a great song. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. They're some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description. This has been your 5-Minute Weekend Report. 
This is Spaceman Dave. Have a great weekend and be safe. We'll see you again next week.